Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tanika Dion. All right, it is Friday once again. So that means it is First Impression Friday. But not only that, I am also going to be incorporating a one brand tutorial. I am going to be using all $1 makeup products. Yes, $1 and um they all came from shopmissa.com where everything is one dollar and um yeah i think everything came out pretty nice i mean you know it is what it is for a dollar i think it's not bad and uh the glow um yeah nice i mean i think i did a good job little uh, eyeshadow palette one dollar whole eyeshadow palette um you'll see everything in the actual video so um yeah again everything one dollar except for the lashes because i didn't get any lashes um oh man you know what i do have lashes from shop miss a and was not thinking my whole freaking drawer i forgot all about it. ever since i've been doing lollipop lashes i Dang it, I forgot that I do have uh, Shop Miss A dollar lashes. So that part will, uh, the lashes are not a dollar. Dang it, I wish I had remembered. But anyway, okay, let's move on. And with this hair, um, a wig review is also going to be coming up soon because I did a review on it, but I will be posting that sometime next week or the week after, not sure yet, but there is going to be a review on it. I'm not one for the blonde, blonde platinum hair or nothing like that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and do a review and, you know, starting to do a little something, something that's a little different, different, you know. And yes, I know it, it's not crooked. I just like my parts um, on the side. So I just tweaked it a bit and um, yeah, I think it looks pretty okay. Um, cute little wiggy wig wig. Got your girl looking kind of young again. But yeah, as far as the makeup, you know, you'll see. And, um, you know. It is what it is. So, anyway, before I start rambling more and more, let's go ahead and get into the video. Starting off with my uh, Wander Beauty Brightening Mask that was in this month's BoxyCharm box. Now I'm going in with the um, AOA Eye Primer. Uh, and this primer is really good. I really like it. It's nude and it, it works great. It helps the eyeshadow stick um, really well. And here I'm using the um, palette from Shop Miss A. And I'm saying, wow, look at the color payoff on that. That's $1 for all those shadows. Look how pigmented these shadows are, y'all. Look at that. I mean, it's like that was one swipe. I've had some expensive uh, palettes that I, you know, didn't work that well. But anyway, um, and next I'm going in with the darker shade here. And I am putting that more so on the outer V and bringing that into the crease just to deepen it up just a bit so that it looks like I got a little bit um, uh, dimension in my crease. Next, I'm going in with the light purple shade there and I'm just blending out those outer um, edges of that dark purple that first one I laid down well the medium purple um, that I laid down first so that I can get all those harsh lines out of there alrighty and next I'm going in with the um, uh, lavender shade there but it's the shimmer one that I decided to put all over the lid the color is really pretty these colors are so pigmented y'all like for real and next I am using the liquid eyeliner and spotlight um, this liner was horrible to work with but you'll see at the end um, when I explained you know what I liked and what I didn't like but yeah that liner was not at all um, good to work with at all it was very sticky very patchy not tacky um i mean like sticky and, and and patchy it just wouldn't um it just wouldn't show it showed up but it just wasn't so hard to work with y'all so hard to work with i had to go over it maybe six seven times i mean like seriously just to build it up to the intensity that you'll see in the final look i mean seriously y'all terrible all righty and um yeah now i'm just drawing on you know a little tiny bit of a wing nothing real serious just tiny just to bring it out a bit 
Alrighty, and now it is time to peel off that uh, wonder mask. It's a really nice mask. Sometimes I be forgetting that I have to peel it off and um, I, I put too much. Um, I like to leave a little bit around the edges so it's not as hard to take off. But anyway, so yeah, I took that off and washed it off. And then I used my Apathy Care um, uh, Skin Care I put on after I took the mask off and yeah that's a serum right there and then next i go on with the same brand of uh moisturizer and that really moisturizes and hydrates my skin before i put on my um uh, foundation next i'm using the l'oreal uh eye cream revitalift eye cream you know you got to keep them under eyes all moist before you put that concealer and stuff on this is the elf wand that i really really love um it is so warming um you just put it on your skin and it warms up and it helps uh to blend in your under eye cream and it also helps with puffiness um under your eyes because i didn't use an eye mask uh per say today so yeah now i oh and i forgot to mention that that uh primer it was an illuminating primer from uh shop miss a as well and yeah it was really good it actually helped to really um brighten up my skin a lot next i went in with the orange corrector i've been correcting a lot lately and there is the foundation it has a bit of a smell and i used a little too much which i had to wipe off but yeah um overall though um yeah pretty nice easy to blend out um you know had a bit of a smell but nothing too too unbearable that you can't work with um i mean did that you can't uh continue to to wear it. it it's you know it wasn't bad it just did have an odor you know as you're putting it towards your nodes and stuff like that but yeah overall looks pretty decent then i went in with the concealer from the same brand of course and um uh yeah and i blended that out with my usual um uh mini pure beauty sponge and yeah just blended that on out next i'm using the pressed powder in banana just to set under my eye and um my cupid's bow my chin my forehead just basically everywhere that the concealer was placed now i'm taking another uh powder pressed powder by them this is in the color chestnut and i'm using that color to contour with and by the way guys if you don't catch everything definitely um everything will be linked in the description below in case you wanted to stop on over there to shop miss a and get you some things all right now i'm going in with the blush which is really pretty and of course next i go on with their highlight which was bomb.com i really like that highlight it gave a nice highlight you know i just can't get over all these products for one dollar one dollar love it love it love it beauty on a budget scandinavian scandinavia setting spray of course and this is the crayon pencil that i chose to get from them um yeah and now here's a little dramatic <laughs> hair flip um and after this little slow-mo um we will get into my thoughts on how i felt about everything yeah i do um like mostly everything that i used uh, that was a dollar the only thing i did not like i will go ahead and let you know now is the um liquid eyeliner this is in white i believe oh spotlight and i did put it on my lid today so yeah but i didn't like it. it's very sticky very hard to work with could hardly draw a line that didn't work out too well for me as well as the um uh brow pomade that was horrible to work with as well to me it's very patchy and sticky but you know i tried to make it do what it do um as well as let's see i think that is the only thing i did not like 
uh, everything else I did like, I believe. I mean, you know, it's, it's easy enough to work with for people that's on a budget. You can definitely do a full freaking face because they got every single product you can think of on the website. And you can definitely do a we uh, a full face. And for people that can't afford to, you know, go to Sephora and Ulta all the time, this $1 makeup will definitely have you looking good. So you can definitely go out, hold your head up high, and know that you look good by wearing $1 makeup. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Look at it. I mean, it looks good for one dollar makeup foundation um looks like this you see what i'm saying i mean it's good and then i bought two of the powders which you'll see also i bought the banana powder set under my eyes and i used um this darker one to contour with i mean they worked great and this little highlight you see this highlight right here right look at the highlight y'all it's one dollar look at it just one dollar um aoa that's the um the brand for the dollar and then the little blush Look at that. Come on now. For a dollar, you can look good. You can go anywhere to work out to date anywhere. I lo Oh, here's the palette that I use. Oh, look, purple. One dollar, this whole palette. Look, the palette is pretty. Look at that. Gave good, great payoff. Really good payoff. You'll see that in the video. But the color payoff is amazing. Um, I got the, um, let's see, the orange concealer from them, and then I got the one to highlight with, all oh, $1 again. The, um, the uh, mascara, great. It was easy to work with. Oh, yeah, another thing that I don't like that I uh, used was this, uh, you know, lip crayon. You know, I mean, I didn't expect too much from it. You know, it's it's a dollar, and you have to keep applying. It's not matte either, but, you know, it's all good. Just throw it in your purse and just keep reapplying it. I mean, I don't really see the problem with it, you know. Um, like I said, if this is all that you can afford, definitely, definitely, definitely do this. Oh, yeah, and I forgot the... Um, the eyeshadow primer this was great it's a little new color um i thought it made the eyeshadow stick very well it was easy to work with this was great as well as this right here y'all this right here is good i thought it did such a good job for a dollar it's their um uh, face primer it's called illuminating illuminating primer and it did help give a glow to even though you know i got the highlight but i think it did a good job trying to highlight up under giving you a glow within it did a good job y'all i think um so overall for um everything that i used it, it gets a nay i mean a yay and then the other products that i told you about it gets a nay but overall yay definitely try shop miss a if you can't afford the expensive stuff go out and feel good about yourself so anyway before